In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the power steering pressure hose on your Nissan Ultima. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Remove the connector off the power steering sensor. Put that pigtail up out of the way. Using a 24 millimeter socket or wrench, we're gonna remove the union bolt off of the power steering pump. When you do this, make sure you have rags or a bucket to catch the fluid that comes out. Remove the bolt. Pull the line off. We're gonna reach behind here and on the back towards the intake, there's gonna be this little bracket. There's gonna be a 10 millimeter under the top two. We're gonna take out this 10 millimeter for the power steering pressure hose bracket. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet. You could also use a wrench. Remove that bolt. And then our hose can drop down. Using a 19 millimeter wrench to hold the top of the line, we're gonna use a 14 millimeter wrench to remove this nut. Make sure you have a bucket under this for when it starts leaking. Pull the line down. Behind this bracket, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter head for this bolt. We're gonna remove this bolt so we can then remove the bracket off of the power steering pressure line. And then we can remove it from the car. Using a ratcheting wrench, I'm gonna go on the back side. You can use two hands, feel it, and then start to undo the bolt. Remove the bolt. I'm gonna pull down on this line. Remove it from there. And then we're gonna remove the bracket. and pull the line out of the car. Remove the bushing from the old line and place it on the new one. Do the same thing with the middle one. Remove the bracket, grab the bushing, and then move it to the new assembly. Just like that. Install the new line. Installing the bracket. Now we're gonna put our 10 millimeter bolt in the back, push it towards, and then go up through the back. Get it started by hand. Using a wrench, snug it down. I'm pushing on the face of the bracket right here to tighten it down as I screw the screw in. Snug it down, push the line back up into position. Get this bolt 
started by hand. And we're gonna snug it down using a 24 millimeter wrench. Hold the top part of the line. I use a 14 millimeter wrench to snug down the nut. Install the 10 millimeter bolt into the bracket for the power steering line. Install your 10 millimeter bolt. Grab your bolt, install it into the bracket using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, snug it down. You can get a torque wrench in there, torque it to about six foot pounds. You can't do the best you can. Install one copper washer under your union bolt. Grab your line, install the bolt in the top of the line, and then put the second crush washer on bottom. and install the union bolt into the power steering pump. Make sure that the line is sitting in that little groove of the power steering bracket. Torque this union bolt to 44 foot-pounds. If you can't get a torque wrench in there, do the best you can. Using a 27 millimeter socket, I'm gonna remove the power steering sensor from the old line. Then we're gonna install it into the new one. Install the pressure sensor into the new line. Torque this sensor to 27 foot-pounds. You can't get a torque wrench in there. Do the best you can. Plug the sensor in. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, pull it back. Make sure it doesn't come off. Install the wheel. Put on your five lug nuts. And then snug them down. Snug them down in a star pattern to ensure that it Seat square. And once the vehicle is on the ground, we will torque the wheels. I'm going to torque the wheels to 100 foot pounds. Moving in a star pattern. Remove the cap off the power steering reservoir and fill it with fluid. Fill it to the max level. And then with the wheels either on or off the ground, work the steering wheel back and forth. You should see this fluid drop. Once it drops, you know it's starting to bleed. Keep going back, lock to lock. Once you've bled the whole system, make sure your fluid is at the correct height. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.